Hi guys, and season's greetings to you as well. And just a little message for all my subs out there. Thank you very much for subbing me. I really do appreciate it. I've just creeped past 300 a few weeks ago, and I really do appreciate it. This video is really taking off from the last video, where I wanted to talk about the summoners, the dwarves, uh, the add-ons for free planes, and the, the the new things I've sort of discovered with layering with PDF, but I didn't have a chance. And in this video, I'm hopefully going to have a chance to put that right. I should really talk about the poll as well. A few months ago, I held a poll for which army should be next to free planes. To cut a long story short, it was cheated. Um, somebody wanted the necromancers to win. But instead I had to award it to uh, the Dwarves, who I'm going to talk about next. And here are just a few pictures of different types of Dwarf. Because, you know, in the world of fantasy, whenever you're designing anything, there is no wrong or right interpretation. There's some general guidelines, but there's no wrong or right way of drawing an Orc, an Elf, um, a Hobbit, or whatever. It's whatever you interpret. But for me... A dwarf, because I grew up playing Warhammer, a dwarf is small, or smaller than a human. He is tough, stout, stocky, incredibly bulky, intelligent, uh, mechanically minded, likes a drink, probably smokes a pipe or something like that. And this is what we came up with. As you can see, he's a very rounded sort of fella. He's, he's thick, he's tough, he's not fast and nimble say like a lord of the rings sort of dwarf would be so he's very stocky very tough don't worry he's gonna have a beard i just removed the beard for a short time just so i can show you some of his features of his face so as you can see the face is far more rounded and this is one of the main distinguishing features between any other dwarf and a free plains dwarf and it's because they have loads more well they've got a thicker bone in their faces. In fact, if you look there, you can see the nose, bone, whatever it's called, the arch of it begins above the eyebrows, which would give the dwarf far more protection. It would protect their eyes more and the, the brain behind their eyes. So just generally got anything about a dwarf, apart from the physical height, is just much bigger and thicker than a human's. So that's a dwarf with a beard, and on the right, I've added a human in there, just to give you a sense of scale. I didn't want them to be too small, so they're about a head smaller than a human. They're, they're going to look smaller than they actually are because they're so bulky and round. Some a little bit more round and about information about dwarves. Dwarves are going to age funny. They're going to get better with age. So the older the dwarf is, the more powerful they are, except in their last year, which will be known as their black year, they'll age rapidly and then they'll die within that year. As a society, they're going to be separated in caste. You're going to have the warrior caste, you're going to have the engineer caste, the building caste, the whatever caste. Uh, the warrior caste is going to be separated into houses. So the house of Nuki, this is a, a Nuki house, they're going to have hand weapon and shields. Bronco are going to have uh, great weapons. Each house is going to have an elite unit as well. Just very quickly run you through some of the gaming pieces for the dwarves. They're going to have dwarf blunderbuss, which are going to be air power. They're going to fire out shots. It's going to be a rifle version as well. They're going to have dwarf titans, which are these big metal contraptions. It's going to be about six inches tall, so that's going to be huge in a 15 millimeter sort of scale. They're going to be very makeable as well because with them being rectangular, you know, I could make one a three dimensional in card because there's no smooth edges. You see to get around. They're going to have Dwarf Redeemers which are basically you know they, they follow around armies, they're outcasted Dwarves, they want to redeem themselves and that's why they're called Dwarf Redeemers. They're going to have special bonuses against monsters and characters and that's just some of the pieces there. Now in the next edition after the edition I'm about to release, the third edition, I'm going to add two more magics. I don't know what the other magic is going to be, but one of them is going to be an elemental magic. And that means making up elemental beings. And since I was going to make up those beings anyway, I thought, why not make a wizard list? So, basically, it's just a wizard army called the Summoners. For the last few months, we've been collecting ideas for the Summoners. For instance, this is a Cyclone Warrior. It, it sucks up dirt, blows them out of its hands at high velocity, a bit like a machine gun. This is a Fire Pixie fast attacking fire based creature the next one is a wind wraith again a fast attacking creature with electrical attacks it would have a really high agility save but this is the thing unlike the dwarves who are nearly set in stone now so i don't want much more input into the dwarves the summoners are completely open so i've opened up or i am going to open up that forum 
for anybody basically to come down, post in there, add ideas, comment, and just get involved because some of the best ideas have come from the walking community. They're not all my ideas. Like I say, some of the best ideas have come from you guys, not me. So if you get down there and get involved, that would be brilliant. Thank you. I just want to take you very quickly to PaperQ, which is a brilliant print and play site where you can print and play any kind of buildings, any kind of old buildings that is. It's all completely free. Uh, I'll leave a link underneath, but the reason why I'm taking you here is that it relates very strongly to the add-on we're going to be working on next year, which is a siege game. So not only are we going to be making rules for it, we're going to be making castle walls, keeps, towers, all of which will download, build out a card and design your own castles and play a game of free planes but a siege version add-on. I just quickly wanted to mention that all the prints from now on are going to be in PDF because I've discovered how to work in layers and one of the beauty things about layers is that you can change the colours of your prints. So the Alancians and the Elves, you're going to have different colour options. So if you click here on black, you can turn them black like this. Or if you click on green, you can turn them green. And very, very lastly, the thing about free planes is it's not just my work and it's not just my little team's work or we work on it, but it's also people who chip in from around the world and two two guys, you know, special thanks to those two. I'm not going to pronounce the names because I, I can't pronounce it, I'm dyslexic. So basically, thank you very much. They've put loads of work in the forum, they taught me how to work in layers, so it's thanks to those guys you can now have different colour prints and they're modding up my files or my old pictures as well and breathing new life into them. So thank you very much. Well that's it guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and enjoy the rest of the holidays. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.